Hey church family, I wanted to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement as we continue to pray for the recovery of our country. Now, as I continue to consider the way that the, the masses are being manipulated by the mainstream media, you know, I can't help but to wonder, whatever happened to common sense? Whatever happened to common sense? And, and just to be clear, it'll help you to know that common sense, it's the sound and prudent judgment that's based on simple perception of the situation or the facts at hand. Common sense is the basic intelligence that ought to be common in the minds of all rational people. Sadly, common sense is no longer as common as it used to be. You know, if common sense were actually common, uh, we would be able to recognize the difference between a peaceful protest and a violent riot. If common sense were actually common, then rioters wouldn't go and burn down their own neighborhoods all in the name of justice. If common sense were actually common, then those who are fighting against systemic racism, well, they would be quick to reject any career politician who actually spent their own life helping to establish the current system. If common sense were actually common, then, then more people would realize that we can't achieve justice for all through acts of injustice uh, against some. If common sense were actually common, then more Americans would realize that the breaking news presented by the mainstream media has been retracted and redacted so many times now that we can no longer trust them to provide us with all of the facts necessary for uh, you know, drawing a proper conclusion. If common sense were actually common, then we would all realize that people on both sides of the political aisle are being manipulated. And we're being manipulated by those who are getting rich off of all of this civil unrest happening here in America. Sadly, common sense is not as common as it ought to be. One reason why? Well, it's due to the fact that the education system here in America has failed to instill the basic principles of common sense thinking. Our secular educa education system here in America has failed to teach kids how to think. And the reason why for this is, is due to the fact that they're too busy telling kids what to think. You know, the indoctrination of a nation is always easier when the population is trained to simply accept the verified information that's being presented to them. And with this as the goal, our kids have, are, are being taught, you know, what to think rather than how to rationally think for themselves. If you couple this together, the, together with the fact that the, the God of this world is blinding the eyes of those who are rejecting Jesus Christ, well, then you end up with a society that's filled with people who, who, who are lovers of themselves and lovers of money and boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, and without self-control, they're brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, and lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. And what's even worse is that our secular education, education system is actually creating a generation of unbelievers whose understanding has been darkened by those uh, who, who you know, are placing a greater emphasis on sexuality than spirituality. That's right. When your kids go off to the, to the secular schools, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're being taught more about sexuality and, and, and all sorts of different you know, perversions than they are about true spirituality. And it's for this reason that so many of our kids have just given themselves over to lewdness in order to work all uncleanness according to their own desires. Christian, listen, if you want to make sure that you and your kids have the common sense that it takes to, to think clearly about all these issues, then I encourage you to spend some time learning about the, the basic laws of logic, learn about the rules of critical thinking, uh, learn about the art of argumentation. And not only that, but you should also spend time studying Christian apologetics so that you can make sure that your faith in Jesus Christ is actually founded upon reasonable facts. I like the way that Isaiah put it in Isaiah chapter 1. It's verse 18 where Isaiah declares, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Now, Christian, listen, the Lord has encouraged us to be reasonable believers and to, to rationally think uh, about our own situation and our need for Jesus Christ. And we need to help our kids to become believers who are able to think critically according to the laws of logic that the Lord has given to every single person. 
Not only that, but listen, there are many adults in the church today who also need to learn how to think critically. Uh, many Christians in the church today who don't know how to think critically about the information that's being crammed down on us by the mainstream media. We need to learn how to think critically, and we need to most certainly learn how to think biblically. And with this as the goal, I encourage you to join us here at Calvary South Austin as we continue as a church to make our way through the Bible, embracing the infinite wisdom of God that we find in his holy word. If you'd like to know more about our service times and the measures that we're taking to sanitize our facilities, well, you can find all this information right here at calvarysouthaustin.com. I hope to see you soon, uh, but until then, let's continue to fight the good fight of faith, all for the glory of God.